Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Animal Artist Collective. We have a lot to cover in this video, so I'm going to first jump right in and say thank you so much to everyone who has been so supportive of me as I've been on my maternity leave. It has been a whirlwind and a journey, and I am still trying to figure out the work-life balance with having a newborn, well, four months old at this point, and I really appreciate everyone's patience with me. I'll be discussing a little bit more about that toward the end of the video, but next we need to talk about the Animal Artist Collective. We founded this group at the beginning of 2018. Throughout these two years, we have worked with so many amazing artists and we've collectively raised $3,500 across 40 environmental protection organizations around the world. I am so proud of this group, what we've accomplished, the awareness we have brought, and that's why with a very, very heavy heart, I am sad to announce that this is our final Animal Artist Collective round. Even though this is such sad news, I am really happy that we have been able to focus on Australia for this last round. As most of the world is aware at this point, Australia has been battling awful bushfires for nearly four months, nearly the amount of time that I have been away from YouTube. The entirety of my son's life. It has been devastating to watch the news reports and footage coming out of Australia, especially around all of the animals that have been losing their lives. And that is why 100% of the sale of this art piece is going directly to Wildlife Rescue in Australia. On that note, I also have a sticker design that I am selling as a part of raising funds for wildlife rescue as well so i'll leave a link down below of this kangaroo sticker if you are interested in purchasing that as well okay let's get back to this painting so as you can tell from the beginning of the video i sketched this digitally on my ipad and procreate and then i printed it out and transferred it to this watercolor paper this is 100% cotton watercolor paper, and these are Schmincke watercolors that I am using to paint this sugar glider piece. When choosing an animal for this round, I obviously wanted to pick something really cute, but I also realized that there is quite a bit of controversy about keeping sugar gliders as pets that I thought might be a good topic to discuss at least a little bit in this video. Now, I know it is really easy to get attached to such cute small animals, and oftentimes if they're docile enough, it seems like, sure, they can be a pet and we can keep them in our homes. But that's not necessarily the best thing for that species, for those animals, and we don't necessarily know how to take care of them properly and not a lot of the right information is out there about these animals. First, let's get to know these animals a little bit better with a few fun facts. Sugar gliders are small nocturnal marsupials native to Australia and Indonesia. They are very sociable and have about 12 to 15 year lifespans. They eat sap and nectar and that's why they're called sugar gliders and they're arboreal, meaning they live in trees, and they resemble animals like the flying squirrel because they are able to sort of glide through the air with the extra skin that they have uh, from tree to tree. Some possibly less common knowledge about sugar gliders is that they require a lot more space than most people can provide as a pet. They also require very specialized vet care and are apparently very difficult to treat. They also eat a very specialized diet, can be very messy and smelly, and unfortunately there's a fairly large market that ends up overbreeding and inbreeding sugar gliders to market them as pets. 
This is really awful because these animals endure abuse and it creates many, many health defects and awful living situations. I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg of the issues with having sugar gliders as pets. And as one last thing I want to mention, there are actually quite a few laws and regulations around keeping these as pets all over the world in different states in the United States. And I just really, really encourage anyone who is thinking about having sugar gliders as pets to really research, 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 and think about what is best for these animals. This sort of advice really goes for any animals you're thinking about getting as pets. Really research and look into what is best for this animal and the best way to care for them if you do want to have them as pets. I'll also add that whenever possible, always try to adopt pets and give animals a good home that really, really need it. So if you are interested in supporting animals like the sugar glider, alongside koalas, kangaroos, and all sorts of the diverse wildlife of Australia, please consider purchasing this artwork or even the kangaroo sticker that I mentioned earlier, and definitely check out all of the other Animal Artist Collective artists this round, and check out the artwork that is available that is raising funds to help these adorable animals. Okay, on to another not so happy topic. For everyone in this community here on YouTube and for all the views and your support and lovely comments, after having my son and trying to juggle all the work I have for myself as an independent artist. YouTube is not the most sustainable thing for me to be spending my very limited and very valuable time on. And I... I am so sad to say that I am going to be going on a hiatus from YouTube indefinitely. This is not due to me not wanting to make videos. I actually have so many ideas I want to share with you. And if I had the time to devote to all of these, I would and I would stay here on the platform regularly and post videos on somewhat of a regular schedule. But the reality is I just, I can't right now with all that's going on in my life, I really need to be very selective about where I am focusing my creativity and where I am building a community. Unfortunately, YouTube just takes so much time to make the artwork, film, edit, and upload videos on top of having to be very careful about various regulations that YouTube now has in place. I am so sad to be leaving for the time being. I do say it that way because I really would love to continue to make videos at some point when I do have extra time to devote to this medium. I really, really do enjoy making and sharing videos with you guys. That being said, I am still continuing my artistic career and developing my skills and sharing topics about self-care and all of those good things. It just can't be in video form most of the time, if at all right now. Most of the sharing is going to happen over on Patreon, and you can pledge if you want to, but I will be sharing various blog posts and some polls and things like that for free if you want to just follow me. If you do want to pledge, please go check out all the different rewards I have. 
that is going to be my main focus. Um, I have some really fun art challenges that I've started and a community that we've been building for a little while now that is really dear to my heart. Now, obviously, not everyone can pledge money, and I get it. <laughs> I know I can't for all the creators that I would love to support. If you want to just follow along with me more and can't make it onto Patreon, be sure to follow me on Instagram on Twitter. Now, Twitter is probably where I'm going to be most of the time. Instagram is great visually, but is not the best for building community. So if you want to follow me on either platform, those are always linked down below. So I would love to see some of you there and share in our art community in different ways but still through comments and shares, and I feel like I can maybe even get to know all of you a little bit better as well. Now, let's not leave on a sad note. I wanna end this video with just pure gratitude. Gratitude to the Animal Artist Collective and everyone who's participated officially, unofficially, by viewing, by just learning more about certain animals and what you can do to help our planet. And I want to thank all of you here on YouTube for supporting me these last few years as I have started my art career mostly here on YouTube. And hopefully you can continue on this journey with me even though it is changing up a little bit. Thank you, thank you everyone so much for all the support that I have received in all forms. And with that, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and I'll see you later. Bye.